Hi there, this is just a quick video to show you how the Padawan 360 control system works for R2-D2 remote control. Uh, we've got an Xbox standard uh, controller. This is just an Acre amplifier which I'm using for demo purposes. The red board there is a SparkFun MP3 trigger board. It's got a 2 gigabyte memory card in there at the moment, preloaded with the various R2 sounds. Uh, an Arduino Uno at the bottom and a uh, USB host shield. Uh, that gives me USB, which goes over to that thing over there, which is the Xbox remote receiver. Uh, at the moment, I'm just powering off a little LiPo battery uh, straight into the Uno. And over here is my uh, Sabertooth 32 amp controller, obviously not connected to anything at the moment. I, I just happen to have it still plugged in. So just to give you an idea, you can see at the moment the rings uh, are spinning around. That means that R2 is connected. Sorry, the controller is connected to R2. The fact that that's spinning tells me that the motors are inactive. So if I give any command, no, nothing would be happening on the speed controller. Uh, but I've still got control over sounds. So I've got, uh, I've got standard sounds just if I push these buttons, as you can hear. Now the way this works is it actually works on combos. So if I hold that button down and do this one, for example, I can get music. So if I hold it down, get that one. I've got that. Likewise that. Likewise that. So I can control uh, music basically if I hold that shoulder button. If I hold the trigger button down and do these, I've got another set of sounds all together. Uh, and likewise, the other two, uh, I can't really do this very well holding one hand, but I've got the left one down now. So if I do that, so, got all sorts on there. But the really useful thing is if I go into drive mode, basically this means I now take control of the drive motors. You can hear it's giving me a chirp to tell me that it's active and you'll see that the, um, the light has stopped moving around. If I, that's now in speed one. So as this will now control the, the droid's movement at uh, a low speed, if I click the stick down, Again, you can hear it gives me another sound feedback and segment two is now lit up telling me I'm at speed two. And if I want to go to speed three, which is the fastest, I get a warning off R2 that he's going to be going at his absolute fastest. If I want to take it out of uh, drive mode, so in other words, the speed controller for the motors is out of the circuit, you just simply push that button again. And again, I get sound feedback. Um, the volume you can remotely adjust even by uh, up and down on the d-pad i think you have to hold one of the you have to hold the right trigger down and do up and down so you can even remotely control the volume it's absolutely crazy this stick here would control the dome movement left and right again everything's going through the arduino uh, and finally if i push the back button which is this one here it puts it puts it into uh, what it calls a sort of a tracked mode i guess uh, which will just randomly play sounds um, at a random time frame and it will also move the dome at the same time notice because of the, the light is spinning around that tells me that the motor is disconnected so if i gave it if i gave it anything on the right stick it uh, it completely ignores it and as you can hear it's just at random times it's doing random sounds um far and away the slickest system i've seen um, by a country mile um, it originated from the Padawan PS2 system, but obviously PS2 controllers are getting a bit old hat now and difficult to get hold of. Um, I bought this one primarily because I, I had a 360 that I don't use anymore, but I am I am absolutely chuffed to bits with it. It's, uh, it's super slick and it just works like a charm. Anyway, I hope for anyone that's uh, thinking of getting one that's useful. If you want to uh, ask me any questions, just please drop me an email or get in touch on the forums. Uh, I'm Balders on all the forums, B-A-L-D-E-R-S. And uh, if you want to email me, it's balders at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.